Yasif. Great to be back with you. Four minutes, four questions. Here we go. Question Question one. one. Now assist for IT self-service. What is it? Tell me about it, please. Yes, absolutely. Great to be back, Chad. As always. As always. Um, Now yeah, now assist in self-service really, again, it's going back to our form of saying we want to help requesters get what they want with as little friction as possible. So that means making the virtual agent more engaging right. and making our search experiences as well more engaging. Get to the point. Don't belabor it. Just help me get my answer so that I can move on and do the things that matter most. And that that is key. And other episodes you talked about the customer wins so i think that's a great point so question two question two why do you believe this is a game changer for people and customers looking to really just get up and running with self-service quickly yeah so i think starting off with our uh the administration experience right it it is virtually non-existent i mean customers can get up and running in about 15 minutes and that's simply by leveraging their catalog items and their KV articles. That means those two artifacts can be serviceable inside of the virtual agent and made conversational and more engaging for the requesters. So immediate ROI with that one. Yeah, and you talked about that in an earlier episode. That, that it still amazes me. That's amazing. Okay, so question three, three. What do you feel that ServiceNow offers in unique value or success metrics? Like what have you seen with customers early on with this? Yeah. Um, self-service, right? It, it's really about shifting left. So, um, and then I don't want to undersell the, the experience, right? We, we, we pride ourselves in providing very, very pleasant experiences for our requesters. Um, one thing we know is that even our own now and now team has, has benefited from a 20% lift on self-service right. in which they're saying is incident avoidance, which means that a requester coming to the portal was able to get what they want and not log a ticket within 24 hours, which is a pretty conservative estimate if you ask me, because 24 hours is a long time to wait before we try to realize that, hey, we didn't solve their problem. Yeah, and it, and it's done internally, like we're drinking our own champagne, so that's a great point. All right, last question, question here we go. Four. What do you see as a roadmap coming for, for audiences? And maybe we'll show this at K24, but what is the self-service roadmap that you're seeing with Gen AI? Yeah. So one of the things that I'm most excited about is uh, there's actually two of them. One is our multi-turn KB articles, which I think is really going to be cool. So it allows your requesters to follow up with the KB articles that they're connected with and really ask, you know, deep rooted questions and get to the get to the get to the source that they're after. Right. right. Um, The other one I want to talk about is our plans to reinvent self-service. We understand that you know, when you are reading an article, the best vehicle for that is actually the portal. Mm. But when you are trying to fill out a catalog item, the best vehicle might actually be the virtual agent. And so what we're trying to do is say, hey, it shouldn't be on you to figure out where to go and when. Mm -hmm. We will bring that to you so that you just need to focus on your problem. You tell us what it is and we will connect you with the right experience so that you can self-serve much faster. That's awesome. I look forward to seeing, hopefully it's that knowledge. So with that, that concludes our four minutes and four questions. Asif, any questions, comments, concerns that they might have, uh, people watching this, reach out to us in community. Is that correct? You'll uh, You'll see the URL at the end of this, Asif. I look forward to another session. Thank you as always, good sir. Thank you, Jack.